So hello there and welcome to Ivar's Fly Workshop. Today we are tying a really simple pattern called Little Fluen. That basically means the little fly. I am using a dry fly hook for this uh, pattern and it's a dry fly hook number 10 with a rather long shank. It's a Mustad dry number 10. Uh, 12, sorry, not number 10. And uh, the thread I'm using for this one is a Fröten 70 denier camel. So it has this brown camel color on it. This is like I said, this is almost naive how simple this pattern is, but it's really effective. And the first thing we do is to place like a yeah, it's a neck feather. It's a hairline top in a yellow grizzly. You can tie it with a natural grizzly as well, but at the moment I don't have the natural one. It's on the way. Somewhere lost in the post, I suppose, but uh, I'll just go with the yellow one. It works as well. Fantastic. So we attach the feather down to the hook shank, like so. And it's... All right just a little bit in the front of the middle of the shank where we start and uh, this flight doesn't have any body or anything it has only this hackle that we are creating right now and uh, even though it was like by a friend of mine designed to be a dry fly. It's uh, designed by John Sigurdsson and he said to me that he wouldn't need any other dry flies in Iceland. And it's true, it's a really effective pattern. It's a variation of the mosquito, he said. And um, the buoyancy of the fly, it's like um, it could be Technically, it could be better, but uh, the deal is is that uh, it fishes like an emerger. So the hook, uh, the tip tip of the hook, and the that faces down, so it's like almost hanging on the water film on the hackle, if it doesn't sink. But the truth with with this fly is that. Uh, even though it sinks, just fish it like that because it's going to work like an emerger almost and it's going to give you great results fishing. I'm just created the uh, hackle, picking out the loose fibers there and then we are going to create a little head on the fly, not too big, not too bulky because it's, we don't want to have too big head since it's a yeah, like a surface uh, pattern. We'll do the whip finish on the fly. And if you tie it like like I said with the natural grizzly, it's gonna it's gonna look pretty much like the mosquito dry fly pattern. But that's uh, actually the pattern you was uh, having uh, looking at when he made this uh, little bug. We'll just place a little bit of a UV uh, bone cure, solaris bone cure on it to secure the knot. And that's about it. There we have the uh, little flugan or the, or the simply the little fly ready. You can tie it from 12 down to 22 or 24. In Iceland we are using usually somewhere between 12 and 16. So the fly is ready. Thanks for watching and remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more content to come. And I will be seeing you guys in the next video.